Oh, what's going on, Toxic Gamers? We got another beef happening in gaming, man. What else can I say? It's like a daily situation. Sigas are never happy, man. But, of course, this time Phil Spencer has started WW5 in gaming. You're gonna find out in just a second here because apparently YouTubers are going crazy. Players, gamers, Toxic Gamers, everybody's going crazy. Xbox YouTubers also going crazy. We're hearing that Starfield, you know, all the Xbox exclusive, the, the Fable, the Gable, whatever we want to refer this game to as it's gonna be coming on the PlayStation as well man. like the video if you think there are two genders dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders man I'm just saying man like women deserve better than this crap man like these things are hella sexist when they do that crap but this video is not necessarily about that but this is a real YouTube thumbnail that I saw guys like can you can you believe it Bruh. can you believe it so what happened you're probably like wondering what happened like why are people beefing because suckers are always beefing right suckers are beefing suckers are beefing and yeah like actual beef just started today when uh you, you know where's that yeah so this is what's going on in gaming this is what's going on in gaming roll it shout out to the homie maddie plays check this also what's going on with xbox exclusives can any game come to playstation the answer is as it always has been just xbox is being very clear about it now Yes. What does this mean for the future of Xbox in a console market where they're becoming more and more like Valve? We're going to get into that. Is Xbox okay. still interested in acquiring companies? They've said as much before, but have doubled down on that. Just it's not anything happening soon. And so much more to get into. A lot of this information for those who took an objective look at the future of Xbox will not be too surprised at what they find here. And the only shocking part of it all will be how clear Xbox is actually being about these sorts of things where yeah. their biggest misstep, I think, for this generation has always been messaging. So I appreciate how clear they are being here. Okay. But myself... That is the homie Mr. Matty Plays. He realized the news is kind of like uh, it's a roller coaster, but I'm gonna have an optimistic take on it. Love the guy. Now you guys know. Wow, the homie Dreamcast guy. Let's see the complete opposite of that. But to be fair, though, yes, people are absolutely. Let me show you guys the responses on Mr. Matty Place, right? Like, the, yeah, man says, "I told you so." Never underestimate Xbox's ability to disappoint its fans. My move to PC last year only makes more and more sense. The Xbox One stumble from years uh, years was like slow radiation poison that Xbox would never be able to recover from. Good exclusives is what sells consoles. Only reason Nintendo uh, still exists. These are like all the top comments, guys. Like these are all. The, let me show you this. Yeah. So by default, these are the top comments. So the community is not feeling it. People are not feeling it. But let's see what what the homie Dreamcast guy gotta say. Man, people are happy with this news, but. I have seen some rage. I have seen some Xbox people saying, we've been betrayed. The death of Xbox is here. But let's discuss and let's take a look at the interview. I hope you're having a great day. And if you could, please give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. So I want to take a look at a couple bullet points and a couple blurbs to start with. But here's the main crux of what I feel like a lot of people are focusing on. Phil Spencer will not rule out any Xbox exclusive making the jump to PlayStation. Now. The reason I find this to be such a fascinating quote is because at this point, it does seem like- Including Halo, yo, yo. Now, as a gamer, uh, personally, the way I see this news, right? Of course, this is not like anything too shocking. We all saw this coming. Uh, Xbox and Microsoft, they have been slowly drift feeding and preparing people for the announcement that, you know, it's gonna happen. It's like how NASA and, 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 and you know, the government agencies are slowly, you know, they release like UFO videos slowly here, like an alien video. So they're slowly trying to prepare people. Yeah, the aliens are real. Yeah, this and that, right? So it's like a same situation. So they have been slowly preparing people. So it's not coming as a shock and as somebody uh, who has a really good PC I game on uh, PlayStation as well I don't view this as a bad news for Microsoft for Microsoft this is amazing because why why they're gonna make a lot of money and at the end of the day guys like with Microsoft it's Sony no matter what company it is it is all about making money wait for it we got like a lot you're gonna get more man no diddy you're gonna get more but it's all about making money, man. These these suckers don't care. PlayStation don't care about you. Xbox don't care about you. It's just like some like fanboys that think they do care, but guys like they don't care. Whether it's okay to be a fan though. It's okay to prefer PlayStation or Xbox over the other. It's totally cool, man. It's totally fine. 
uh, but, but like uh, to actually believe that these suckers care about us now nah, man they don't money talks bullshit walks okay simple as that right so microsoft's gonna make a lot of money by putting their games over on playstation oh absolutely they're gonna make a ton of money now xbox is also gonna make money but it's gonna be interesting to see the next xbox when the next xbox comes out how much it's gonna sell we're hearing that the next gen xbox is gonna come out in 20 uh, 2026 and the next playstation 6 is gonna come out either by the end of 2027 or 2028 these are the dates that have been given to us by playstation themselves this was revealed to us during the courtroom drama when you know playstation was trying to stop xbox from acquiring activision and you know xbox was trying to get activision this is a years old news at this point right but this is official is what i'm trying to say plans and dates can still change don't get me wrong but this is something that was that is still coming from playstation and it's, it's official okay so if xbox is gonna have next gen xbox in 2026 they can make money i feel like that if xbox is the only console out there that is better than playstation 5 and ps5 pro and let's be real if it really comes out in two years from now it's gonna be better than playstation right i mean specs wise it got to it got to then there's no point it got to so a lot of people will jump on it and buy so it has uh, a chance to compete but other than that xbox is killing itself in a way where because if there's no exclusives on xbox or all the exclusives gonna be on playstation and playstation's gonna keep their exclusives exclusives to them and you know later on timed exclusive later on reveal it or release it rather on the pc then there's like no point on getting xbox because you get ps5 you get ps5 day one exclusives okay and on the side, you also get to play Xbox uh, exclusives, uh, exclusives as well. Just simple logic, right? Simple maths, simple maths. But if it turns out that Xbox is going to do timed exclusivity, then yes, till uh, then there's a... Uh a little bit of a why of why you want to get uh, xbox right or you simply don't care about playstation or you grew up with xbox that's different too you're gonna keep on buying xbox and th that's that right and that's not nothing wrong with that but they're just killing their uh why factor why buy xbox that's that's what's going on other than that they're making they're gonna make a lot more money i i think this is a good move in terms of making money but bad move in terms of selling their console essentially right but let's continue like I don't think Phil is fully in control of Xbox. I mean, that makes sense. He isn't Mr. Xbox. He is an Xbox employee, the biggest Xbox employee, but still an employee nonetheless. He is still working for Microsoft. And there has been some thoughts about the fact that it does seem like the sales of the recent Xbox to PS5 stuff, the Project Latitude projects, as they're called, the games that are being brought, like Sea of Thieves, uh, freaking Hi-Fi Rush, those games are ended up coming to PS5. Yeah, which, which they shut down and then ended up coming on PlayStation, like, bruh. PS5 and... As a gamer, it's a good thing, though. It is a good thing. Uh, and I would say this, like, for example, if Spider-Man was to come out on Xbox, that's a good thing as well. Uh, listen, man, I play on PlayStation, but... I'm not a fanboy of that console, I don't care, like, I, I, I grew up with PlayStation, so for me, like, I'm gonna play on PC, and if PlayStation really start doing, like, a whole lot of more crap, I'm a console peasant, though, you know, I prefer consoles, I love playing on console, and I feel like that a lot of, a lot of you out there also prefer playing on console, so therefore, you're either getting PlayStation or Xbox, or both, or both, or you just, like, a PC master race, which is, I mean, I wish I could get to that level at one point, where I just game on PC, even though I have a good PC, but it's just that... I prefer console. It's just simple, right? Like you plug and play, you pick the controller, and it, it's easy. That that's where I'm at. That's like my that's logic right yeah. now. I, I know, man. Just bully me in the comments, guys. So eventually, I'll just start gaming only on the PC. But see, the only game that I'm genuinely looking forward to is GTA 6, man. That game is not coming out on PC at least day one. So there we go. There we go, right? You need a Sony Pony 5 or the Xbox Series X, right? You you need these consoles, man. Uh, uh, yeah. So. I'm gonna be a console person I feel like for a little bit till they they do something so like radical I'm talking both PlayStation and Xbox so like completely out of touch that makes everybody like kind of move on to PC or whatever the case might be at that point right but so far I'm sticking with PlayStation uh yeah right so if you're gonna have like all these exclusives on PlayStation then there's no reason to buy in a way, they are not day one PlayStation, so you feel what I'm saying? In that aspect, okay, sure, have Xbox. 
and selling and Game, Game Busters, which I Maybe. think people yeah. at the top of Microsoft are starting to say, okay, we need a lot more of this. Now, even in these comments, people are saying, mm. okay, so PlayStation is the best place to play. Bro looks washed. Gears of War is going to be nice on PlayStation. Less exclusive exclusivity, the better for gamers. Pretty yeah, much yeah, everybody yeah, is yeah, like, yeah, okay, yeah. this is it. This is the yeah, end of yeah, Xbox. Yeah, yeah. Halo 7 coming to PS5 in 2026. Now, I do think a lot of this comes down to these numbers that came out just a couple days ago. In fact, this actually got released yesterday. I was going to talk about this yesterday, but obviously we had a bunch of other Damn. gaming news to cover. But the first sales digits are coming out for Black Ops 6. And from everything that's being said, they're pretty strong. It sounds like uh, Black Ops 6 is actually getting crazy sales in general. But additionally, even the people that are playing on Game Pass, it sounds like Microsoft is starting to realize that if your options are, okay, someone will pay $10 a month, $20 a month, whatever, to subscribe to Game Pass, or they'll buy it up front for 70 mm. bucks and still be buying the microtransactions, it's probably worth it to eternally support the PlayStation. Yeah. 75 70 par 75 percent holy. That is crazy, man. Call of Duty sales up 24% on PlayStation. So even though it's on Game Pass, sales went up on PlayStation. In a way, it makes sense that it, it was uh, bought more on PlayStation because on Xbox, it's on Game Pass. So why buy when you can get it on Game Pass? Makes sense. Absolutely uh, for gamers, right? But the sales are 25% more. That's wild. It cannot be under understated how important PlayStation is to the Call of Duty franchise. Also, how important Call of Duty is to PlayStation. Yeah, vice versa, right? 5% yeah. of sales. And this is this is not speculation. This is from the raw digits. 75% of total sales no were on PlayStation. And also, the sales have gone up on PlayStation. So it sold 24% more this year on PS5 than it did last year on PS5, which is absolutely bonkers to think about. But let me take a look at the rest of these bullet points here. There is some stuff in here that's extremely fast. Fascinating. And I want to take a look at the there was another data uh, that was revealed right like pretty much anybody from everyone that in that has the Xbox Series X half of those people actually played Call of Duty so that was big for Xbox as well because of Game Pass because of Game Pass right end of the interview I have it pulled up so what happened was Phil Spencer was doing some other talks in the area and he stopped into Bloomberg to kind of break down the goods and the bats I do want to quickly say for some reason I've seen a bunch of comments about how Phil Spencer looks I, I think he's looking fine I mean I'm not sure how old this dude is but it seems like he's slimmed down a bit but I don't know he seems fine also even if he is yeah, feeling like, yeah, cool. sick he's still showing up and doing an interview okay i respect the uh, eternal grind set okay now two things that really stuck out at me that i think are kind of weird is the the talks about an xbox handheld i think are good but he also talks about the fact that they're currently no still looking for more acquisitions but instead of just buying studios that make a bunch of money they're trying to find ones that add still interested in acquisition yo yo but one that adds you at this point just buy playstation and sony man <laughs> Just buy PlayStation and Sony and game game over. You know, case closed. Just end up buying PlayStation and Sony. Man, imagine like one day, right? Of course, like it's not gonna happen, but but could you imagine? Could you imagine, right? Of course, you would need PlayStation and Sony to be like, uh, okay, we're gonna sell ourselves to you. And if Xbox and Microsoft is looking to buy, then it's gonna happen. Of course, it's not gonna happen. I'm just like saying that, but uh, jokingly, sarcastically, right? But could you imagine, like, Xbox ends up buying PlayStation? That would be crazy. Or vice versa, where Sony buys Xbox. Sony cannot buy Microsoft because, you know, like, Sony's not worth that much. But Sony can certainly buy Xbox alone uh, if they wanted. Yo, could you imagine, like, Xbox actually sells themselves to Sony in the near future if, like, this, uh, this thing fails? Because uh, it, it seems it's very obvious because the sales are not that high for Xbox So therefore they really need to do this where they're putting all their exclusives everywhere So they they make money and and I get that man. I get that for example if uh, Sony That's the same reason why they are starting to now put their exclusives on PC Although it's not day one. It's like a year later two years later kind of thing But make no mistake the reason they're putting it on PC is because they want to make money man. Everybody love money everybody love making money simple simple so I would not be shocked if in the future sony starts to put their own exclusives a year later on xbox as well yeah man like i i, I can see that happen oh absolutely you you think they local you think they crazy <laughs> but if they were to do that that would be wild considering 
uh, this news right that now Xbox has confirmed that it's gonna do like uh, which is not a shocker it, it makes sense uh, logically the sales are not that good Xbox uh, is not selling that well in comparison to PlayStation it sold well but in comparison to PlayStation it did not and essentially that's what Phil Spencer Microsoft that's what Xbox is looking at they're looking at these numbers and they're trying to make sense of it they, they want to make money man they want to make more money than God they want to make more money than the, the Xbox and Game Pass as well man they want to make more money than Nintendo Sony yeah right like they want to they want the entire world on the platform so they, they want a lot of people they want a lot more people and uh, yeah man the quest the thirst of making money just does not end that's uh, where we at geographic diversity so essentially what he's saying is I do think in the worldwide mindset a lot of people are still thinking of Xbox as a American company right because that's where Microsoft's at and let's face it what originally kind of exploded the popularity of Xbox in the first place was their western focused devs stuff like getting obviously early Bethesda titles uh, Morrowind on the original Xbox mm. Halo all the shooters and stuff like that so yeah. it always seemed like they were trying to branch and they turned Halo recently as well they started changing the Master Chief as well <laughs> we're gonna change Master Chief. So uh, yeah, let's hope that uh, uh, yeah, we had that whole lot of DEI, the woke stuff about Halo the other day. Man, uh, I don't want to talk about it because uh, shout a bit though, right? The, the amount of RPGs video, and stuff that have been coming to the early generations of Xbox were a bit of a trickle, but now we have seen Xbox trying to make better deals with Square Enix. They're trying to make you know they're trying to get other audiences involved. So it sounds like they're tempted to expand into China. So they're talking about the other audiences like modern audience china okay we want to expand in china i mean china bro china and india that's like the if you if you don't got china and india in your uh in your in your plans then you're losing a ton of money right like china's like a billion two billion india same like almost two billion right that's where the money's at man that's where the population at though that's where that that's how it works man Hen uh, hints interested in teams out there, okay? Maybe buying some Chinese studios. Now, the reason this is just a bit strange to me China is because, one. honestly, the last major outside the typical scope acquisition that we saw from them was buying Tango Gameworks. In fact, even mm. the replies here, I think people are making Tango jokes. Because, yeah, Tango Gameworks is enough. a Japanese company that made Hi-Fi Rush, that made Evil Within, that won a lot of awards, and then they got scrapped. So, I guess uh, being a good studio Bruh. and geographically diverse was not enough. Now... The other Bruh. part of this that really, really, really struck my mind. It's wild, right? Like, they actually had Hi-Fi Rush, which they said it succeeded for them, and they made a ton of money. That it is good for Xbox. And then they actually scrapped it. Like, what? You loco? You loco, Xbox? You loco, bro? What the hell is wrong with y'all suckers, man? And now I believe, if I'm not mistaken, somebody else ended up buying their studio, if I'm not mistaken. And, and it's a Japanese studio, so it's an Asian studio. And now they're saying they need more Asian studios. Dog, you had them. Dog, you had one of them. What the hell is wrong with y'all suckers, bruh? I, I don't get it, man. That's different kind of stupid, bro. But okay, all right, let's uh, continue, boo boo. Real quick, though, uh, if you guys do use Twitter or X or Instagram, I would definitely love to have you there. Links are always in the, the pinned comment. All right, let's get back to the content here, boo boo was the talks about an Xbox portable. Now, people have been kicking around this for a bit. It seems like it's a kind of open secret. It sounds like a bunch of developers and stuff are currently hard at work on this Xbox handheld. And to mm. me, this sounds mm -hmm. incredibly fascinating. I, I was actually uh, talking about this a bit over on Blue Sky, where incredibly. I think the idea of an Xbox handheld is incredibly fascinating because I am obsessed with my Steam Deck. In fact, usually I always have it on my desk because the Steam Deck is not just a tiny PC. You can mod the Steam Deck. I've got a bunch of emulators and ROMs and stuff like that. I actually set it up so my Steam Deck can play my PlayStation 5, like a PlayStation Portal. And even as a streaming device, it's cool to be able to play a handheld version of PS5 games. Like, yeah, the UI isn't the best because it's much more crunched down and stuff, but while playing like Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and stuff on my, on my handheld, I started to think, man, it would be cool to have a version of this for Xbox, where I could actually install Xbox games and play them natively. But I did see some pushback where people are like, okay, you can already put Game Pass onto a Steam Deck, why would you want a separate device? And I guess my rebuttal would be the fact that, uh, A, oh, I really yeah. love everything handheld. I just think handhelds are cool. As a kid who grew up with a Game Boy in my pocket, I think it's really cool to be able to just whip out, you know, big AAA games and play them, even if they do have ah, crappy... Ah, ah, hey, whoa, whoa, hey! Pump the brakes, though! Yo, tranquilo, man! You love whipping out? What the hell? What the hell? Why, you, why do you love whipping it out, man? Stop! Seek some help! Get some help, bruh! Get some help. Yeah, gamers are looking like this right now, but get some help, Poppy. 
What the hell? Damn. Graphics or frame rate or whatever. But I do think the other part of it is that there's something about having a native handheld. I think I'm curious to see what Xbox's interpretation of a handheld would be. I mean, I'm curious to see the battery life, how good the power output would be. I mean, I'm super curious if they're going to try and do the streaming route because Xbox Game Cloud is not that dang bad. But I hope it installs natively. The Xbox handheld, I do kind of think, and maybe you guys can say I'm going a bridge too far. I do think too this far. is a signal that we're not going to be getting the next Xbox console for a bit. I'm not going to name names, oh, but I have whoa. seen certain Xbox YouTubers whoa. kind of pissed about the existence of the PS5 Pro, saying the PS5 Pro is is uh, I don't know pushing the market into a bad direction. And uh, personally, PS5, like, let's be real though, PS5 Pro, there was no reason to drop that. Or you could have dropped a PS5 Pro, but it should have been much more than what we ended up getting. It's uh, like same CPU, graphics card is better, but you're not necessarily seeing like a mass major performance. We've done like comparison videos as well. It's like Spider-Man 2 is like five extra FPS on PlayStation 5 Pro versus PS5. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is wrong with y'all seconds, man? Uh, and, and of course, graphically speaking, and I kid you not, if you watch that, I'm not talking resolution, because yes, resolution-wise, uh, that's a different topic, right? Of course, you're watching a video on YouTube, I'm watching a video on YouTube, so playing-wise, it's gonna be a little different, I get that compression. But guys, we're in the year, almost 2025, YouTube compression is not that bad. There, Yeah, compression exists, I'm not denying that. Uh, uh, but, uh, and, and yes, this for the sake of it, let's not even talk resolution, but graphics, the textures, you can see it when you compare both. Because if you're going to have PS5 gameplay footage on YouTube, it's going to have the same level of compression in comparison to PS5 Pro. Because if you're watching a video on YouTube and you're seeing side-by-side -side gameplay for both, then the entire video has that compression. So minus the resolution part. You can look at side by side and see the textures and the graphics uh, for whatever they're worth. Uh, and you can see the FPS count. For that, you don't necessarily need the video to be like 8K, 4K, or all that, right? Like, you can see it in 1080p or 4K. Uh, you don't need to worry about the compression or no compression. You can see the details, right? And to be fair, though, the videos that I've seen, man... In some aspects, the original Spider-Man 2 on normal PS5 looks better than PS5 Pro. Hand on top of this bottle of water, I own a PS5 myself. Uh, so I'm not like trying to say, yo, PlayStation bad or Xbox bad or just trying to be honest, man. Just trying to be honest. And 5 extra FPS is what we're seeing so far. Certain games probably going to have like more or less. It depends. So, so yeah, for the money, it's not worth it. And if you already got PS5, it's not worth it. At least for now... So what I'm trying to get at here is that they could have had a PS5 Pro, I think it's cool, it's fine, but it should have been, we should have seen an upgrade, a bigger upgrade than what we're given essentially, right? If that makes sense, like the video if that makes sense, but okay, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's continue. Their weird rebuttal is that Xbox is not doing a mid-gen refresh because their plan is to start the next generation sooner. I've seen a lot of Xbox fanboys, and I don't know where they're getting this. Maybe they have some insider info I don't know about, but I've seen a lot of them saying that the next Xbox console will be out in like 2026, yeah, trying yeah, to beat out yeah. the release date of the PlayStation 6, which rumors are the PlayStation 6 is probably coming in 2028, mm. 2030, you know, somewhere in there. But... <laughs> I think 20, 20, 30. <laughs> but yeah, 2030 is what he means. Yeah, and, yeah but, but no, I think realistically 2027, 2028, that's what it was mentioned in the in the documents uh, by PlayStation. So yeah, 2028 makes sense. I don't think they're going to wait till 2030, though. I think the idea of an Xbox handheld, in my mind, I think it does kind of counteract that. I think if they're making an Xbox handheld, I don't think the next Xbox is coming out in 2020. Well, we'll see. I, I think they if they want to really... If they want an upper hand in comparison to PlayStation, they gotta release it in 2026, right? They they got to in two years from now, they got to. And they're gonna get an upper hand because we're not gonna have PlayStation 6, so they're gonna get a two-year uh, head start. And could you imagine GTA 6 uh, improved and enhanced for Xbox 2026, the next-gen Xbox? That would be crazy. That would be crazy. And maybe by that time we're gonna have the game on PC, maybe not. And if not, I mean, yeah, a lot of people that care for better graphics, they're gonna get the Xbox. Oh, absolutely. And of course, if you're an Xbox fan, by default, you're gonna get that too, right? So in that aspect, Xbox is gonna get a head start. So in that way, it's gonna be smart for them to do it. Because if they were to release it same at the same time as PlayStation 6, 
they're not gonna be able to compete with it guys let's be real let's be objective about it they're not gonna okay even now they're struggling and they have to put their exclusives on playstation yeah right so uh, let me know your thoughts guys check out this video on the screen because this brother was caught cheating in call of duty and he calls activision and asks them to be on the diddy list no cap check it out and i'll see you right there